It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, Witcher. Let's try it out then. Right, everyone, welcome back to here. Right, gonna be a sword build. So, this will be a the Witcher 3 Zeriel sword, like a half size sword. That's the exact size of it. The design may change slightly as I go. I'll be making it from a weed slasher, 800 millimeter weed slasher. So this is a nice hardened tempered steel. Will bend and go back to position. So as long as you keep this cool, it will stay all right once you've done the finished project. So I'm going to take the handle off, start shaping the blade. blade roughly shaped now I need to mark for the handle so I'm going to need to take a little bit off of each side so that the guard has something to rest up against probably not that much but no I don't know that'll probably do it um, so I need to take about Two or three mil off either side, and then it's going to step in so that this ring can sit against something as well. If that makes sense. Um, I'll have a think about that. A lot of these things will go along, do it as I go along. So I will work out, as it may not need the step a bit. Right, I'm onto the guard now. The blade has been roughly shaped how I want it and got rid of most of the scratches. I may need to go over one bit there, I can see. I'm gonna go on the guard now, work on the guard now. The guard may be slightly shorter than this, 
because of restrictions in the metal I've got but at least this is thick enough I was going to use that but it, I don't think it'd be thick enough so I'm going to use this one be the right thickness it'll mean the guard will be slightly smaller though and there's this hole here but what I'm going to do is put this brass collar over that hole so that will cover that up and we'll be able to have the nice shape so the next thing I'll do is start cutting this and this Right, I'm going to try and gradually bend this now, so it'll be very gradual, and I'll cut the, the this bit after, I think. Right, so I've shaped the guard a little bit more like the original. It's never going to be exactly the same anyway, it's just my sort of interpretation of it. Because this is really hard to um, bend, and I can't get a proper position in here, if I clamp that too much, it will straighten that bit, and then I won't be able to bend it back. It's very difficult to get this in a position in here where I can hit it with a hammer, because I can't actually bend this physically by hand or even with a bar on it. I need to use a club hammer. There's no way you can hit it anywhere. So what I'm going to do, shaped it, I'm going to put this in a vise, file in a groove here, and hopefully that will aid it bending back slightly. Hopefully it doesn't break. If it does break, then I'm just gonna have to have a smaller guard. Right, that did bend. It's going to take a little bit of adjusting, but that certainly did bend. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to keep messing around with it till it's in the position I want. I'm going to cut the aluminium ring now. Uh, funny thing is, I've got a great big 
bit of aluminium that's a round bar, but I can't find it, so I'm going to have to make it out of this. So I'm going to cut this out, basic shape, and then I'm going to drill the slot first, because that would be the most difficult bit. And one bit of advice I would say, right, the only problem with doing these weed slicer swords uh, because they're so thin, it's hard to make a slot in like the guards because the it's so thin you can't get a file in it. So for this, I'm going to make it slightly bigger and then fold a piece of metal over to hold it better because this will be really hard to file. So I'm going to draw around this, <laughs> and then as I say, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drill in this side, get that slot done cut this hole out and then I'm going to cut the rest out by hand. Right, so the handle on mine is going to be a little bit different than the the game version. I don't really have the same materials. Mine's going to be a sort of full tang shaped HDPE handle. So I'm going to put a bit of this on each side. Then I'm going to put the ring, and then there'll be more at the bottom, and then it'll be that one. If that makes sense. It has a ring here, a metal ring. That's why if you look at the tang, it steps. That's for that to sit up against. So I'll cut another one of these so it fits up nice and flush and then I can stick those on and drill a hole and rivet it on. So I think the next bit you'll see is me riveting it on because it's just cutting another piece of that basically, the curved top. Right, so that's the sort of beginning of the handle. 
those will be cut off the scales will be glued on and these ends will be made to look nicer that'll be riveted Right, I've made the collar for here. I may need to adjust it slightly to get it to go down. But that's made. Once that's on and shaped, I can then put the the ring on the end. <clears throat> this still needs a bit of work because I still need to drill a hole in the back because this has a pin going through it on the actual sword. So. I can put that on and then I can put the scales on because they'll fit better if I put this on first. So I'm going to carry on getting this down to where it should be and then you should see me peening on this because you don't need to see me drill a hole in the back of that. Right, so what I can do now is cut the other parts of the handle. They will stop that being able to move from side to side. And I'm also putting a nail through here into there because the original sword has a full tang and it's peened over. So a nail will just imitate that. Um, so I think the first thing I'll do is cut this plastic for here. Get that really nice and snug. That'll hold everything solid then. So the next thing you'll probably see me doing, you don't need to see me cut a piece of plastic. Um, you'll probably see me, um, I'll probably just go to the nail because you've also seen me peen these handles on. So you don't need to see me cutting plastic, peening a handle on. <laughs> I recommend if you ever sharpen any saws that are double edged make sure you use gloves because you've got your fingers near the edge that one of the edges it's sharpening basically so you do need to press down and obviously the sharper it gets the more dangerous it gets um, there probably are other ways to sharpen but if you're doing it like this on a table, definitely wear gloves. So I'm just going to go through the grits and then onto a stone. Right, finally finished. This has been quite a process, quite a few, um, 
quite a few weeks with just doing it at night. I've made a temporary sheath. This won't be the sheath. I'll be making a sheath out of leather. So the blade has been sharpened. I'm happy with it. It's not exactly the same as the one from the game. But then this is a one-handed sword anyway. The original sword. Uh, the, the entire blade on that would be bigger than this thing. Yeah. So... But I am happy with it, I like it. I will be doing a sheath soon and I'll do some bottle cutting as well. There may be a little bit of bottle cutting included in this video if I get a chance. If not, when I make the sheath I'll do some bottle cutting with it. But you'll definitely see some pictures. If you wonder what that is on the blade, it's oil. Just to stop it going rusty. Yeah, as I say, I am very happy with it. I think that's definitely my best looking uh, bottle cutting sword, a little short sword.